Yeah, it's the Saturday wrap, and I have very little here because this time next week, Christmas, which is big in the lower Romney Valley where I am currently located. So, what's this? This is the Saturday wrap for Saturday, the 18th of, I was going to say September, December 2021. And it's a look back on the previous week. Things that happened, the politics, the health, the tech, the beer. Oh, yeah. Beer. Um, cold black label from Bridgend. I'm not sure how they are associated with Brecon Brewing, but they are. This is really right, quite nice, actually. B plus and a bit. Um... It comes in two versions. If it's brewed in the summer, which this one was, it's made with Southern Hemisphere hops. I like it. It's good. Um, and it kind of... Well, this and five other bottles appeared at my desk in work during the week with a rather nice note and a little Santa on it. And it touched me. And the beer is good as well, which is very positive. And... It's also a unique, which I like a lot. I like a very much lot, because um, stats and tech and untapped and things like that. Anyway, so, right, what have we got then? Word or phrase of the week. This is getting more and more difficult. I've had to pick up three... Okay, so what have we got? At the beginning of the week, Monday-ish, we had tsunami. A tsunami of Omicron. Or a storm of... Uh, we're in trouble, apparently. And then, here in Wales, up close and personal. Yeah, apparently vax passes don't work uh, because we're going to have to shut nightclubs on the 27th of December because they don't work. Um, and uh, according to Mr. Drakeford, and he knows these things, when people go there, they go there to get up close and personal. I find this difficult. I've been on his trains, yeah, because the Welsh Government now runs the trains in Wales and this was a morning train going into Cardiff and I was very up close and personal with people which I'd rather not be. So yeah, um, close down the nightclubs because up close and personal but everything's hunky-dory and nice and safe on your trains. Science, probably. Um, this is not a pop at the people who run the trains. Well, the drivers and the guards and all that sort of thing. I'm not altogether sure about the people who do the scheduling. Mm, there you go. And uh, today, news management, circuit breaker. Or here in Wales, a fire break. Who can tell? <laughs> so, yeah, um... A lot of health issues there. A lot of politics there. Um, anyway, so the app of the week. I think I'm running out of apps of the week, to be perfectly honest. But if you're on iOS and you're looking for a Twitter app and it's easy to use, um, third-party Echo Fon Pro. Echo F-O-N. Uh, I paid, mm, paid how many years ago? 2007 um, for the pro version. I still use it. It's actually my backup Twitter one. Tweetbot is my main one. But oh, it's a good solid app. The only issue is it's not updated that recent uh, lately. Um, it is updated, but mm, it's good. It's easy to use and it has an intuitive interface. Yeah. Okay. Thing of the week. Well, in England they tend to call it Mad Friday, and that's the last Friday before Christmas. Well, actually, the last Friday before Christmas is Christmas Eve. Um, so we're going to call yesterday. Um, well, what we call it in Wales is Black Friday because, well, it's blackout, generally speaking. Um, 
I went to the temple. I went there early just in case because the temple has a bit of a history of filling up quickly on Black Stroke Mad Friday. And they had a manager special on. Eight ounce sirloin steak and chips. And it was lovely. And a pint of Santa Tastic, which wasn't bad at all. I was on my own. And that's probably the best way to be at Christmas, uh, away from people. And the sachets are back. And there's talk that the circuit breaker might introduce eating and drinking outside. They've still got the secret garden uh, stroke car park with lights and gazebos open. Which is probably just as well, he says. Anyway, so what actually happened in the week? Well, tech-wise iPhone 13p. So, I have a shed load of stuff on my 10s, and the way to do it is well, if you put it next to your new phone and your new phone's got your new SIM on it, it says you want to transfer the settings over, like the Wi Fi settings and such like, and passwords. And then it says, do you want to transfer the rest over? Now, the thing is backed up to iCloud, but if it's backed up to iCloud, all the passwords and such like are not backed up. So you can actually go phone to phone. So both of them into the mains, and it went phone to phone. A couple of things don't actually come across. If you're using Google Authenticator, you have to do a transfer manually. And your banking apps, you have to reset up. And although your credit cards come over with the uh, secure enclave, they need to be reset up. But considering the amount of junk I had on there, and it's mainly pictures of pump clips, two hours and did it all come over the apps tend to come over more slowly because they get re-downloaded from uh, the app store basically morning done back up and working much better battery life love the extra wide angle lens um it's slightly bigger uh, not a great deal, um, and it still fits in the uh, holder on the screen, so Waze has been unaffected. Some apps didn't come across, basically because they're no longer in the App Store. Surprising to see some of them that weren't there and some that are still there. Echophone Pro, you've been around for donkey's years and you are still there. Ah, happy days. Anyway, um, thank you, Santa. Oh, and the AirTags. I really like those. I have two of them. One for my keys and one for my rucksack, um, which might get transferred between rucksacks. Um, if I go away anyway. Mm. Talking of that, um, there's going to be no chance of going to the Hereford Beer House this side of Christmas. Uh, Johnny stuck a message out saying that now Amelie is working in the hospital and he's on his own. If either of them get it, that's it for Christmas, no money and such like. And you have to think people in the hospital. Um, so it's only takeouts. So let's see what the new year brings when it transfers ownership. Um, I'd like to go back there, but I'm going to miss Johnny. I really am. He's top man. He knows his beers. Um, and his recommendations are excellent as well. Yeah, so that was Sunday morning, the iPhone-ness. And in the afternoon, the last episode of, well, the last episode of Series 1 of Invasion. Now, I know it's taken a lot of stick, but cliffhanger, really good cliffhanger. Series 2 is coming. I'm really happy. The Expanse, Series 6, episode number 1. Only 46 minutes, but it's still great. It's still very, very good. And Series 3 of Lost in Space is back. I think it's all there. I watched maybe one, two, three episodes. It's good. Um, it's not great, um, but if you like sci-fi and you're willing to tolerate children, then there you go. And in the afternoon, Formula One. I've fallen out of love with Formula One. A lot of it was, well, it wasn't racing and it was just processions going round and then there's all the politics. And this was like all the arguments. 
I'm not keen anymore. Really not. Uh, but anyway, um, Verstappen and uh, that guy, I can't think of his name, Lewis Hamilton, got knighted in the week. Lewis, live in this country, pay tax in this country. I think that would be a better plan. But, you know, money, you do what is it, whatever you want. And there were lots of announcements. Uh, I think Mr. Drakeford was on, was it Monday at 7 o'clock? And Boris was back Monday and Tuesday. And what can I tell you? News management. Get us back into the habit of these announcements. Things are getting worse. Please stand by. All that sort of stuff. Yeah, no offence, but I fell asleep before Mr. Drakeford came on. I think that might be old age on my part. Uh, but he didn't have a great deal to say. Although, I would say, what we're getting, we're getting boiling frogs. We're definitely getting boiling frogs. Uh, the Ashes is back. England were a disaster. Although today they've done a little bit better, but there's something in it. Go all the way to Australia and then just collapse. It's a tradition. It's a Christmas tradition. And I like it a lot. Mm. Okay, so then, Tuesday, Monday night into Tuesday, iOS 15.2, iPadOS 15.2, tvOS 15.2, uh, macOS 11.2, and Xcode. And guess what? I'm doing this on the Mac, and there's an update to Xcode, because apparently it's a bit buggy, and that'll take about four and a half centuries to download. Christmas is about software updates <laughs> or something like that. Anyway, uh, what else? Uh, oh, yeah, Tuesday. Tuesday went to Newport. It drizzled. That's one thing I spotted. And also Misanthrop Girl on Twitter. Uh, she's mentioned it. Weather forecasts don't show any of this winter drizzle stroke car stroke damp in the air, whatever. You still get wet, but it shows it as dry. Anyway, Newport. Testing out the 5G. Um, it works outside Poundland. Uh, it also works in the Market Square bus stop and in the bus. Uh, I've altered the settings now, so it comes on whenever, despite battery life, because i got a big new battery in there, and I need the extra speed. The speed is, well, I, th I think I had about 99 down, and I think it was about 15 or 16 up, which is good, um, but not as good as I was hoping for. Um, I was just hoping it would be everywhere in Newport, because that's what the three map shows. And their 4G is distinctly overloaded. Definitely in pont de -Prix. That's because they've oversold it. And you can get home broadband on 4G now. And they've oversold that. And they really need to start doing something about it. It's annoying. Right, so um, Thursday into... Well, Thursday was the by-election. And Thursday into Friday was... The Tories got a good kicking in North Shropshire. You need to set a good example. You need to do what you say you're going to do. You need to follow your own laws. That applies to the civil service as well. The investigation into Christmas parties was being done by someone who had a Christmas party and forgot to mention it. And now it's being done by someone else. People... People put up with a lot of things, but not hypocrisy, he says, at Christmas, because we get what we deserve. Um, and then uh, Mr. Drakeford, well, on the 27th, closed nightclubs, because fax passes? They were supposed to keep them open. Are we now under the impression that they don't work? And in Ireland, which has had fax passes for ages, they are now closing hostages. Fatality places, pubs, nightclubs, and whatever from 8 o'clock. I think nightclubs have just gone completely. Yeah, um, I'm still not sure about this Omicron. Yeah, a lot of poor people can get it, but how dangerous is it? 
Uh, in the week, the person, the doctor in South Africa accused us of being hysterical about it because it's not that bad and hospital figures aren't that bad. Um, yeah. And we're in the state now where it is, why hasn't the government done anything? So they are between a rock and hard place. I think we shall see. we got a week before Christmas. And then there's the dead period <laughs> that'll be fun oh and the nightclubs will be shut but the trains will still be packed hmm righty ho um i think that's it i wish you a merry christmas um and don't forget if you can't meet those people that's what the internet is there for um even if it is quizzes and beer and stuff and um it isn't gonna snow the latest weather forecast says sunshine and showers, but uh, a bit chilly. We're going to have frost in the week. Yeah. I'd like Christmas in the summer, like the Australians have it. Yeah. You'd probably be better cricket players as well. Anyway, um, thank you very much. And thank you very much to whoever sent me the beer. And, uh, right, so YouTube, WordPress, Twitter, uh, MeWe, Facebook. And I'll see you next week for the latest update, the Christmas update. Bye-bye.